Hi again, everybody. Welcome back to Enjoy English School. I'm Bruce. 大家好，我是 Bernice. Today is our second day. I really hope you were with us yesterday when we started to introduce the life history or biography of Queen Elizabeth II. We didn't mention yesterday. Why is she the second? Because Queen Elizabeth, also Queen Elizabeth the first, was three almost four hundred years ago,、oh. and there were no other Queen Elizabeths between the first one、uh, at the time of the great writer Shakespeare、oh. until、uh, the last century.、Okay. And we've been introducing something about her family and particularly. The world、uh, she has been a steady influence for、uh, since the time she was、uh, since the time she became queen.、Uh, today we continue talking about、uh, Queen Elizabeth II.、Mm-hmm. So if you will join us、uh, in a moment, we're going to take a short break right here. Then we have what four paragraphs, a lot more about her and her family. 嗯哼，所以等一下我们还有四个段落要来了解一下这一个非常了不起的这个人物。OK. Queen Elizabeth II. Queen Elizabeth II has ruled Britain for almost seven decades, and during that time, her family has grown a lot. She has a total of twenty-three children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren, but such a large family brings drama, and royal family drama usually receives a lot of media attention. For example, Elizabeth's younger grandson Harry and his wife recently distanced themselves from the royal family. They moved from England to California, and said that they. Didn't want to have any royal duties. The news shocked the world. Yet Elizabeth handled the situation as calmly as usual. Despite the family drama, Queen Elizabeth and the royal family remain popular in Britain and many parts of the world. While it's true that Elizabeth holds almost no real political power, she still has a lot of influence and is an important symbol of Britain. Elizabeth is also the leader of the Commonwealth of Nations, which includes the UK and 53 other countries, which are mostly former British colonies. With her grand titles and important roles, it's easy to forget that Elizabeth has hobbies and interests just like everyone else. She loves horse riding as well as dogs, especially corgis. She has even played we with her grandson Prince William. Okay, let's get going. Queen Elizabeth II has ruled Britain for almost seven decades.、Mm. Remember, a decade is ten years,、mm-hmm. and we learned yesterday she has been the ruler. Of the United Kingdom for 69 years. So next year,、uh, we can say she has been the Queen for 70 years, and during that time, her family has grown a lot. 嗯，好，<笑>所以这边是讲到伊丽莎白女王呢，她已经一直这样子统治英国将近有七十年了。刚才讲了一个 decade 就是一个十年，所以有七个，所以那个 decade 记得要加一个 s。而且呢，在他统治的这段期间呢，当然，同学将近七十年了，他的家里面的人当然要成长啦、啊，子子孙孙要越来越多了，对不对？尤其是皇室的家族，所以确实成长非常的大。<笑> Let's see how da her family is. <笑> She has a total of twenty three children. Wow. Now, when I read this, I didn't read further. I said, "Wait a minute."、Mm-hmm. She had four children, but A total of. Yeah. <laughs> Now we have children, their children,、mm. who are her grandchildren, 
and her children's children's、mm. children are her great grandchildren. <laughs> 嗯，所以你看，她总共有二十三个孩子，总共哎，所以刚才这个 Bruce 老师说，哎，他们只有四个小孩吗？<笑>什么时候变成二十三个？哦，原来是他们的孩子结婚了，然后再生，然后他们的孩子又再生下去。所以呢，他还有这个总共加起来，还有包含他的这个所谓的孙子、曾孙，全部都在里面。But Such a large family brings drama.、Mm. Every family has some kind of drama at some time or another. When you are in the public eye, when you become well known to everybody,、mm. everybody wants to know more about you,、mm. and this can cause problems. And people have their own personal problems as well. Anything like this, we can call drama.、Mm. 没错，所以这边就讲了。同学，你想想看，二十三个孩子，然后再加上他们的家庭，一个小家庭就很多的 drama 了。就不要讲有二十三个孩子的这样的一个，而且他是王室，是贵族，他在这个美光灯的聚焦底下，在全世界人的这个眼光底下，所以当然呢，这样子的一个大家庭一定会带来许许多多的这样子媒体的这个家庭，呃，大家喜欢追逐的这个家庭戏嘛。嗯 ，OK， 呃、uh...。We will be talking more about these dramas in the next few paragraphs. 没错 ，Let's take a short break first. 好的。Okay, welcome back. Let's get to that drama. Okay. <laughs> for example, for instance, Elizabeth's younger grandson Harry and his wife. Recently, distanced themselves from the royal family.、Mm. Uh, even in Taiwan, which is quite far away from the UK and has no history、mm. with the、uh, the United Kingdom or England or Britain, still in the newspapers here and on television <laughs> reporting, we could find out about Harry.、Uh, is Queen Elizabeth's、uh, first son Charles his Second son mm, is mm, Harry, mm -hmm. and、um, Harry and his wife. To distance yourself from is to move away from,、mm. and not just in geography. Not a hundred miles or a thousand. For them, it's more like eight thousand miles away. But that's not the point. They have lost contact with each other. They don't talk to each other anymore. Uh, it, it, it's a very unhappy situation for them. That's drama. 嗯，好，所以我们要讲的这一个 drama 呢，举例来说了，就是讲到这个伊丽莎白的第二个，哈，这个儿子啊，孙，哎，对 ，younger grandson， 这个孙子就是叫做 Harry。那么他呢，跟他的太太，就是跟最近啊才发生的这件事情，就是跟王室呢开始产生的 distance。我们知道 distance 当名词的时候，就是一个距离。那这边当动词就是疏远的意思。嗯、这个疏远不是只是我搬啊、呃，我搬的离开我的家很远。不，除了这个之外，他们真正的就是失去了联系，彼此跟家人之间也没有这样子的一个保持像家人之间的关系了。所以是真正的、实际上的产生了疏远的状态。这就叫一个 drama。They refers to Harry and his wife. They moved from England, where they had been living. Most of the royal family lives in England.、Mm. They moved to California in the United States and said that they didn't want to have any royal duties.、Mm. In a way, you could say Harry wanted to quit his、uh, birth job as a royal family member. 没错，所以你看，他们呢就真的从这个英国呢搬到了美国的加州去居住，就真的实际上远离了这个皇室，并且呢，他们也说了，他们根本就不想要有任何的这个所谓的王室的一些职责，因为你毕竟出生在王室里面，你身上有很多很多你原本就应该富有的一些工作职责，他们觉得他不想要了。The news, meaning Harry and his wife leaving. Uh, Harry's family, the royal family, the news shocked the world.、Uh, only one time in the last century did anything like this happen in the royal family, but that you can look up yourself if you're interested in <laughs> royal drama. Yet, but Elizabeth handled the situation. She was able to, we say, conduct herself. 
still as a queen, still as a grandmother, mm -hmm. and as a concerned human being trying to do what she thought would be best in this situation. And she did this as calmly as usual. She is known for being stable and steady, mm. so we're not surprised that this must have hurt her, and yet she was able to continue without showing pain, without blaming uh, Harry and his wife. Uh, she continued her role as queen. Uh, she played a, a, a very stable role. Mm -hmm. So the news, this news is just Harry. He left the royal family and his family for a long time. And also, with them, the news of such a news has made the world feel very surprised. But the way Elizabeth handled her situation, we just know she was a very calm and stable queen. She didn't do anything because, of course, this kind of thing will make her feel very sad in her heart and very disappointed. But she didn't show it because she was a queen, she was a queen, she was a mother, she was a mother. 也是一个祖母，所以他不能够这么把自己的私人的这样的一个情绪表现出来，因此他处理这件事情呢是非常非常，就如同他平常治理国家一样，如此的冷静。Okay, uh, we just introduced one piece of drama. Let's see if there are any others after the break. 嗯哼。Okay, well, let's get busy. Despite the family drama, and of course, your grandson and his wife leaving the family, and not just in geography, but uh, in emotion as well, despite this, uh, Queen Elizabeth continued on. Her first job is within the family and within the country. She is representing her whole country, not only uh, the oldest member of her own family. They remain popular in Britain and many parts of the world. You can see this sometimes on the news uh, when her first son's first son, when Charles's son William, and often with his beautiful wife, they will travel to other countries to represent the United Kingdom. And there are, it's like a, a rock star mm. at the airport. Thousands of people will show up. Uh, to take a picture or, or just to say, yeah, oh, I, I saw the mm. Prince, I saw Prince William, and Prince William is second in line. When Elizabeth passes, uh, Charles will have the natural role of king. If he doesn't want it, then it will go to William, mm. uh, or upon his death, it would go to William next. Okay, so next is talking about, the teacher said about Charles, which is Charles. Elizabeth 的儿子，那他的儿子叫 William， 好，就是现在是王子。那现在呢，他们就是一样。尽管遇到像刚才我们讲到这样的一个 family drama， 就是 Harry 这边跟他的太太啊，跟他们皇室整个疏远了，也不愿意接受任何的皇室的职责。可是呢，伊丽莎白女王呢，跟她的王室家族呢，依旧在英国，甚至全世界都受到大家的爱戴。所以，即使你看他们出个国回来，哇，大家镁光灯还是聚焦在那边，大家民众会非常兴奋的去热烈的欢迎他们。And if we go back a little bit, some of you might be too young.、Uh, Princess Diana,、ah. who was Charles's wife,、mm -hmm. the same wherever she went, standing room only. 没错、uh, ，It was crowded everywhere she went. 嗯，戴安娜王妃，大家都应该知道。如果不知道的同学，你可以上网路去 search 一下，应该都可以找得到的。Okay, continuing. While it's true that Elizabeth holds almost no real political power, all right, she has the power of tradition. She is the queen. She is the ruler of the royal family and of her country, but she does not have political power directly. Still, she still has a lot of influence because she's so popular and has done such a great job for so long. And is an important symbol of Britain. She represents Britain, and the British people like the way she handles、uh, her business and her duties. 
嗯哼，好，所以呢，虽然哈 ，Elizabeth 呢这件事情呢，就是说她成为这个呃国王这个女王呢，虽然呢她没有任何实际上面这个所谓政治上面的一个权利，好，当然她还是有这个皇家付给她当做君王女王的一个权利，可是直接的实质上的这个权利她是没有的，但是呢，她依旧存在着相当大的影响力。好，而且呢，他在这个英国呢，也确实呢是一个代表 symbol。刚才老师有讲到一个 represent 这个动词，就确实他代表英国呢，是一个非常非常重要的一个形象。Elizabeth is also the leader of the Commonwealth of Nations. The word Commonwealth is、uh, has been used for several centuries、mm. now, and it means a kind of union. People in this case, people with similar systems of government, types of economy,、uh, it's a club of nations. 嗯，就像一个国家的一个俱乐部，就他们可能有掌管一些政治啊、经济方面的一个角色。那我们在中文上面就是所谓的大英国协，所以他呢也是这个大英国协的这个领导者。And this Commonwealth of Nations. Includes the UK and 53 other countries. It's not the UN, but as I remember, it's the next largest group of countries in、oh. the whole world,、mm -hmm. and most of those countries are former British colonies.、Mm -hmm. We mentioned this in yesterday's program、mm -hmm. that it、uh, Britain at one time controlled one fourth、uh, of the world's land and its people. 这一个会员国里面，除了英国，另外还有五十三个国家，而这些国家都是曾经被英国所统治的这个殖民地。Right. Okay. Again, we'll take a break, and when we come back, we will finish today's final par paragraph of this two-day lesson. 嗯哼。Okay. Now let's finish our program. With her grand titles, title is queen is one kind of title. She has some other ones, and you can check the computer,、uh, the internet to see how many titles she has. It's pretty amazing, and important roles. Here, roles really means jobs.、Uh, being a king or queen is not for free.、Mm -hmm. You have to do a lot of things,、mm -hmm. and be a lot of. Roles、uh, play a lot of roles, be in a lot of positions that have responsibilities, and because of this, it's easy to forget that Elizabeth has hobbies and interests, just like everyone else. She doesn't devote one hundred percent of her time to being the queen of、uh, the UK, or even one hundred percent of her time towards her family. She has her own interests. Mm-hmm. 好，所以这边就讲到了。因为呢，有着他这样子 grand， 就是讲宏大、宏伟、很显赫的这些 titles， 这些头衔。那么呢，当然他的角色也是非常重要，而且他角色不是只有一个，所以你看他的 role 加了 s， 还有很多皇室代表的一些他的角色。而且呢，就是因为他前面这个 titles 太吓人了，他的角色又这么多，所以很多人很容易就忘记，其实呢，我们的伊丽莎白女皇跟我们的一般人，像我们的 ordinary people。一样，我们都是有一些兴趣跟嗜好的，对不对？平常也是要打打球、打打麻将啊，这样子的一些小嗜好了。<笑> she loves horse riding, and she has one of the best collections of horses、uh, of any ruler or rich person in the world, as well as dogs. She loves dogs too, especially corgis.、Mm. I'm not familiar with dog breeds, <laughs> but I've seen her and her dogs many, many times.、Mm -hmm. It's a smaller dog, but、uh, I read so she has had over ten generations. Of these corgis、mm -hmm. during the time she's been queen. Hmm. Good. So we, Elizabeth, the queen, her hobby is what? First, she likes to ride horses. Then, second, as well as, is and she also likes dogs. Especially, she likes the dogs. We call them the dogs. The dogs are short. 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 曾经拥有过
，OK， 所以你看他非常非常的喜爱这些狗狗。OK， she has even played we with her grandson Prince William. When Prince William, who is now married, and I know they have it, he and his wife have at least one, maybe two children of their own.、Oh. But when he was a young kid, like many young kids around the world, and some adults, I understand、mm-hmm. too, like to play we. And Elizabeth probably thought, "Geez, what do these kids see in this sort of thing? <laughs> If I play it, I'll understand it." 嗯，没错。所以你看，他甚至呢，就跟一般的这个 grandmother 是一样的，他会跟他的孙子威廉王子一起玩 we 哦。<laughs> okay. All right, that's it、uh, for the text. We'll take a short break and be right back with the review.、Mm-hmm. Okay, look at the top of the page and all of the words that are specially marked. We'll review them for you. We've talked about them already, but a review is always good. The first is the phrase "a total of," and notice. After that, whatever you have,、uh, if you use nouns, they will be plural.、Uh, a total of one million dollars, a total of one hundred books, and so on, means the final number, the whole number of a group of things. 嗯，就是我们讲总共一共多少。那记得 of 的后面要接的是复数的名词。The next word, drama. Uh, we discuss this in detail. Drama really refers to plays, people who write plays, and they have very powerful stories to tell, which influence our emotions. All of this is drama, including real life drama. Every family has situations that are difficult、uh, or interesting, and we can call this. Drama. 嗯哼，所以这边的 drama 有两种的意思。第一个就是我们真正看到这些戏剧啊，戏剧类的，我们真的去实际上去看。第二个就是发生在我们真实生活里面，像家庭里面的这样的一种家庭剧嘛。Okay, the next is a verb phrase to distance somebody from someone or something, and that means simply to keep away from. 对，所以我们讲到远离这边的 distance 是当动词，那记得后面要加的介系词是 from。And the next word, shocked. You see the ed, you know it's past tense. Shock can be used as a noun or a verb, and it means to upset. Something happens that changes your mood, and maybe you become worried or confused or amazed. 嗯，这个字呢，一样可以当动词跟名词，就是震惊的意思。通常就是发突然发生的事情，改变你的生活、你的情绪等等的。Next, political. This is the adjective. The noun is politics. P O L I T I C S, and that's not a plural. That's part of the word. And the adjective of politics is this: political, meaning. Belonging to or having something to do with politics. 嗯哼，所以刚才老师讲的 politics 是名词，叫政治。这个字本身就有 s 在后面。那么这么 political 呢，是它的形容词，就是跟政治相关的。Next, influence. Here's another word that can be a noun or a verb, and this is to have a certain power. Over somebody. 嗯哼，一样。我们这个字也是可以当动词，可以当名词，表示影响。Another, grand. Grand means great. 嗯，这个字当形容词就是大的、宏伟的。And our last review word, especially. Usually, the adjective is just special without the e and without the ly. A special program is one that you like very much. You especially like that program. 嗯哼，它的形容词呢是 special， 叫特别的。那么 especially 是副词，表示尤其是有点强调的那个感觉。Okay, that's it for the two-day program. Hope you learned something with us and enjoyed it too. 嗯哼 ，until the next time. Bye bye.